My name is Mark Blair and I've just completed the patient care tech program. Last summer I was uh, I felt the need for a change in my life and so I updated my work source profile uh, with the Linwood office and as a result of that I got on a mailing list and a few weeks later I received an email from WorkSource talking about iCatch and I read through the details and thought this looks kind of interesting and so I contacted the people regarding iCatch and found out it was exactly what I wanted and needed. My original career path was in healthcare. I was a uh, certified nursing assistant and then I worked as an orthopedic technician in hospitals and clinics. Uh, in the late 70s, I had a couple of fraternity brothers say to me, no, we think you should look at this computer stuff. We're not sure, but we think it might be big. And so I actually did look into it and was real excited about the possibilities of, of using computers in healthcare. And so I took a uh, programming class in the evening while I was doing nights uh, at the hospital and began a career in computers that lasted for about 30 years. In um, 2004, when the tech bubble crash occurred, I lost uh, nearly all of my retirement income from that. So uh, while I was making good money in the computer field, it was very much hand to mouth. Uh, when I left Starbucks, uh, I took care of a lot of the medical bills uh, essentially sold the house and got rid of almost everything that we owned and uh, began living very much at a, a just barely above poverty level. On several occasions I looked at what it would take for me to get back into healthcare and found a lot of closed doors to me for various reasons and so I was very much convinced that I couldn't get back into healthcare. When the iCatch program came up it showed me that I actually did have some avenues to get back into healthcare, which made me very excited. And I would say that the biggest steps I did was to follow up with everybody I could, ask lots of questions, get all the information I could, and just put the energy out there that I'm going to do this. This is going to happen. This is going to be part of my life. Um, I felt uh, welcomed in the program from day one. I felt like I got good information from everybody that I worked with. iCatch absolutely has removed any kind of obstacles that I thought were in my way of reaching my goal of getting back into healthcare. So it was uh, financial, it was uh, learning how to navigate the education system after having been out of school for so many years, uh, learning how to interact with my peer students and with my instructors and learn how to be a student again. Learn how to do just the basic things like study and how to organize my time so I can uh, do my best job at studying. So iCatch uh, and all the people at iCatch have helped me uh, get rid of obstacles that would have maybe slowed me down or stopped me from completing this program and doing what I want to do. I'm happy to say that next week I start my orientation as an emergency room technician at Swedish Hospital here in Edmonds. I will have direct patient care. I'll be working with patients as they come into the emergency room. I'll do things like take vitals, uh, prepare the patient for the physicians to examine them. I'll do blood draws. I'll do some uh, testing at the bedside. And uh, outside of that, be doing s support for all of the emergency room staff, providing supplies and equipment and getting things set up. For me, one of the biggest facets of success is attitude. Um, I've culminated an attitude of gratitude about everything. I am grateful for uh, the iCatch administrator having colored pencils that I had to have in one of my classes. I have gratitude for um, the fact that my books are paid for, which is a huge expense for students nowadays. I'm, gratitude, I'm grateful for so many things that have come out of this program and the fact that they're allowing me to live the dream that I have in my life. 
So I'd say uh, for me, the, the two things that I use consistently to get me through this year is an attitude of gratitude and understanding that any obstacles and challenges are temporary and I'll get around them. Go talk to the, catch, the iCatch people about what resources they may have because I've always been surprised at what resources they have. They were resources that I hadn't thought of. And so give them an opportunity to take those obstacles away and uh, make things a little better so that you can focus on your studies.